Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to look at tying the Franco Matto pattern called the Night Dancer. Now this pattern is intended for summer use on the West Coast, so it's tied on a low water style hook. However, I've had good luck with uh, black, purple, and red when fishing in stained water here in the Great Lakes. So if you want to look at my Dirty Harry fly, it's the same color scheme. So there's no reason why we couldn't uh, tie this pattern on a heavy hook as well to fish it in uh, stained water here close to the Great Lakes. So let's get into this fly and see how it works. Let's take a look at the hook we're using. Uh, it's a low water salmon single in a size 4. As I said, you could use a heavier hook if you wanted to use it in stained conditions. To avoid using bulk, I am using an 8 aught thread. Our tag is uh, Mylar in the gold silver and it's a size 14. Our tail is red saddle hackle. Our rib is uh, an oval silver in the medium. Our body is a uh, black floss. I'm going to be using uh, purple uh, cock hackle. This is the cheap stuff. Uh, the pattern actually calls for dark purple. I don't have any. I can't find any. The closest I can find is uh, a dyed grizzly, purple dyed grizzly, uh, but the dyed grizzly that I have is the wrong size feather for this pattern. And the wing is black bucktail. Okay, let's get started. Now I brought the thread back to the um, hook point and we'll now tie in our tag. As usual, it's silver showing so we're going to tie it in gold side out so it flips over. Now bring your thread out of the way. wraps to hold that in place. Now we'll tie on our tail. Just pinch loop it into place. Next comes our rib. Tie it in underneath. Okay, now we have a problem. We have this bump here. And if I was just to put my floss on, uh, I'd uh, have a bump at the back end, which will look ugly. Now, one of the alternatives is to run your thread backwards and forwards a few times to fill up that space. I'm going to show you how to do it with your floss instead, which will make it a, a neater looking uh, fly without a lot of back and forth, and which gets very tedious. So let's tie on our floss. And then we'll just work our thread back. Now when you get to this point, you do not want to go up onto the bump. You want to stop just in front of it and then bring your thread back. Now I'm going to be using a rotary vise with my bobbin. I have my floss mount in a bobbin. That allows me to put the floss on flat. If I had an ordinary vise, I could not use a bobbin because if you did that, it would spin the thread up. You have to use a long length of uh, floss to make this work. So first off, we're going to start by working our way forwards. When we get to the return, start back.
Now be careful of the hook point here. You do not want to catch a thread on the hook point. Okay, now we can wind our rib. Usually five turns is traditional. Now what we're going to want to do is fold the hackle over And finally our wing, I'm going to use a hair stacker. Size it about halfway along the tail. It's about right. Tight wraps. There we go. All we need now is some head cement and we can go fishing. There you go. The Frank Amato Night Dancer. All ready to go fishing. And keep in mind, if you're a Great Lakes angler, you might want to look at this in a heavier hook, maybe in a bigger size for dirty water conditions. So, get out there and get fishing. Cheers.